Versus Research has a team of carefully selected scientists and engineers working on high-powered microwave technology, among other projects. And as Chad Brummett learned for the KRQE series New Mexico Frontiers, they will go to great lengths to cultivate and keep that talent within the borders of New Mexico. Over the past year, Artem Kuskov has found a promising career path within the walls of Verus Research. The 32-year-old engineer originally set out to become a computer programmer. It was just not a pleasant experience. So I wanted to do something with my hands. I wanted to not search for little bugs in the code. If something didn't work, I wanted to see it, why it didn't work, and you know, snap it in half if, uh, if I could if, to make it work. Kuzkov first came to the United States as a foreign exchange student in high school. A native of Kyrgyzstan, he had little knowledge of the land of enchantment before coming to study. Whenever I found out that I was going to New Mexico, I uh, looked up what is New Mexico and I just saw pictures of just desert and nothing, just one big city. I didn't know I was going to Albuquerque first. I thought, oh my, oh my God, I'm going to be living somewhere on the onion field, you know, just like in the desert with nothing. His tune changed when he arrived quickly, falling in love with his host family and the Southwest. He came to America through a J-1 or student visa. After graduating high school, he began his undergraduate career at UNM, where he met a man that would change his life forever. Distinguished professor of electrical and computer engineering, Edel Shamiliglu. Uh, Artem was uh, immediately recognized as ha having a lot of talent, being super useful and beneficial in the lab. Artem's undergraduate career in the classroom and the lab helped to develop one of two pivotal relationships for his life here in America. The first was with Edel. The second... Whenever I was in graduate school, it was in master's program, uh, I was uh, doing swing dancing for, for a while. This was my way to uh, discharge and unload and uh, you know, essentially just like turn off my brain and uh, just go dance my shoes off and uh, just, just have fun. And in 2014, I uh, met my, uh, my now wife uh, there, we kind of like hit it off. The two were married a few short years later, but the honeymoon period was soon met with uncertainty. This is the first time when I got reminded of the two-year rule that I would have to go back because I said it was ne if it was not even on my mind. The J-1 student visa has a mandatory caveat. The student must return to their home country for at least two years before they can seek citizenship in America. Facing the looming requirement to return to Kyrgyzstan, Artem and his new bride sought legal advice, but were told there was nothing they could do. I was devastated to say the least. My wife was devastated. I was trying to work out a plan of maybe I can work here still, but remotely uh, from just, just going home. So he went to the only other person he knew could help, his longtime mentor, Edel. I arranged uh, to get five letters of support that uh, attested to the fact that Artem is a person of unusual ability, extraordinary skills, and would be beneficial to the United States. The five letters came from prestigious sources, including the Air Force Office of Scientific Research, a top scientist with AFRL, and Tony Byers, founding CEO of Veris Research. He's strong in the, th the theoretical background needed. He's strong in the virtual prototyping. And he's also exceptionally strong when it comes to experimental work. And that's the package you're looking for. That's the dream package. Artem is one of many brilliant minds Veris has championed throughout the years. According to the company, they take recruitment and retention of talent very seriously. They knew they had a home for Artem if they could just secure his immigration status. After submitting letters and applying for the waiver, they waited nearly two years before they finally had their answer. In 2021, after a few years of just waiting, uh, I finally got the waiver. And after this, finally got the green card through, through the marriage, uh, which was just very, very wonderful and the happiest day that, that I had. What does it mean for you professionally, personally, that you had so many advocates for you, that you had Veris, that you had UNM, that you had all of these people fighting to keep you here. I cannot um, even express my gratitude to the people that were um, advocating for me, people who st stood in support, 
I am very, very lucky person. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. Artem and his wife welcomed their first child, Adler, a year ago. Adler is a city in Russia. It also means eagle in German.